Hello, hello, my name is Rixie and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to survive in the depths, whether you're grinding or just trying to escape. And this little jellyfish is causing me some audio issues, so let me get rid of him real quick. This is my Adriat slot, he's uh, over 100 years old and all these years were spent in the depths. And that's a lie, I'm lying to you, this is a slot I just never got around to. But, um... The gist is, is that the depths is a very, very scary place. It's where your character is the most vulnerable. There are steep cliff edges, there are vicious monsters, there's corrupted mobs, all that and all that. And it's it's a very, very scary place. And the, how to survive is very, very important, considering if you want your character to live, either to escape or to uh, benefit from the uh, numerous... Uh, benefits of the depths that being there's very good loot down here there's very good xp gain down here and especially if you are a uh deep bound uh character then that is something you should pay attention to and the first thing you need to do is value yourself and dictate whether what i could take and uh what i can't you know you need a ruling system to say, okay, these are things I can fight, and, and these are things I can't fight. And I'll put a tier list up here, which I made, of, of my personal tier list of what I think I can fight, and what do they think I can't fight. And of course, things are just depending on if it is a corrupted mob, but I believe this is a fair, pretty fair tier list to the levels of danger uh, that you'll be experiencing in the depths. Now, obviously, the lowest level of danger are these jellyfish, right? But even these jellyfish can be a danger in certain scenarios. So, uh, let's say you just want to get a health pack, that's right. Um, you are going to take a few hits if it's a multiple jellyfish. That's uh, just like the fact of life, especially if they are staggered. Now, the best thing you could do is just knock them into a quarter here and then try to get your health back. Um, if you are in player combat, you will not really get any health packs. So, that is something you also have to pay attention to. If you're either solo or grinding with someone, if you're in player combat, then you can't gain a health pack from either jellyfish or another player. Uh, I don't know, believe it. I don't know if it's another player, but I don't believe you can do it, get it from other mobs. Um, the first thing you need to pay attention to is your surroundings. You always, always, always have to be your, your, be aware of your surroundings, right? So uh, roars of, you know, sharkos, steps of owls, um, jellyfish noises, mama jellyfish noises. All these you have to be aware of in order to survive and look out. Players are also important, but if you plan to grind. Things can get very, very, very overwhelming very quickly. Um, high up on the tier list are Threshers. Um, and, like, Owls and such. And it's not only because they're dangerous, it's also their chasing potential. Um, owls and uh, Threshers have very, very high mobility. So, even if, you know, you're trying to run away and you say, Okay, well, I can't really fight this. It's going to be hard. Sharkos are also up there because of their blast, which if you time it correctly when they stop walking, you could time it so they, you know, parry it, but they are still very fast creatures, and they've got high mobility as well, which I find them, which is why I find them so high in the tier list as well. Um, sanity is also, also a big issue, right? Um, if you're deep bound, it's not really an issue for you because you're, you're always going to be gaining sanity when you go to cast a light. Um, but if you aren't, that's something you have to be looking out for whenever you take damage. Just being in the depths is also an issue. Make sure you look out for other players, seeing if they're a threat or not, and and that. So, um, other than that, I tend to like to stay up high if my agility is high enough. This is obviously a new slot, so I can't really tend to do that. But um, I like to stay up high and get a good uh, uh, view of my surroundings, right? Um, I can see there's all feathers right there, so I don't really want to go there. If I if I plan to go up to Castle Light, which I can't because I die to get here, um, I would I would be like, okay, there's not really anything on the way up there. And of course, there's view distance, but having a vantage point is very very important. Having a glider is very very important. If you're deep down, it's gonna be very hard to do because you can't really get uh, sticks down here. But other than that, that is something you have to look out for. Um, now, in particulars of grinding in the depths. There's some talents that are um, basically essential, right? A Warrior's Respite is one of them. That is an almost essential in grinding in the depths, unless you have Azure Flames. But even so, Warrior's is just such, such, such an essential thing. 
So if you plan to make a deep bound slot, I suggest to you that you make a slot that has a high fortitude because it's going to be pretty hard to train things at the start. In the depths, it's very good to grind once you're level like maybe power six or seven and can reasonably take on a uh, a lionfish or a jellyfish. Not not these guys, but the the big jellyfish, right? So uh, once you're that power level, uh, you could take those on all pretty much solo, right? But before that, it's going to be a big problem because you're just not going to be able to dish out and take the damage. Of course, it's possible. Of course, it's possible. But um, at least for, uh, I believe I, I'm a good reference for an average player. Um, it's going to be difficult because just, you know, you have to dodge the laser if you're going against a lionfish or get behind cover if you're going against a lionfish. And the three bites, you know, maybe hit a lag spike. So you get hit on one of the bites. Those are also always possibilities that you always have to look out for. So um, uh, the biggest thing is just getting out of those lower levels. Once you're out of those lower levels, grinding those becomes a lot, a lot, a lot easier. Um, food and such, if you're on a deep bound slot, it's not really that much of an issue early because of, you know, you're going to be powering up. Uh, but always, uh, you know, scallops are always a good thing. Urchin stew is always a good thing. And in terms of uh, just just knowing what you could go up against and just knowing what you are. So I heard that jellyfish and I know they're behind me. So I'm going to get out of here because I know that is something I can't fight right now. Uh, going around what you think you can't fight is also important. These jellyfish are also a big pain because of that. Uh, three jellyfish could stag you very quickly and take you out. Like I've I've died to three jellyfish before. On a, a really like I'm like man, these jellyfish are going to kill me because they could almost true combo you with their stun lock if you're going you're going a slow enough weapon. Um, other than that, all I could really say is that just be careful, be be aware of your surroundings, uh, follow a tier list to dictate. Okay, I feel like I, I'm in this tier, so I could fight these things. Uh, know that if there's there's going to be mobs spotting around you at all times. So if you're fighting something, be sure to just keep it in one area so you don't involve other creatures. Because once it becomes two things, it becomes an issue. Um, things can't, that can't really follow you that pose little of a threat. So if you get low, you, they can't really follow you so you can get out of there. Crabs have very, very low mobility. They can't really move anywhere. Um, jellyfish have low mobility, but their shooting of their jellyfish, of their little gig gigameds, are... Uh, very dangerous, especially if you're gliding or uh, trying to get out of there, because the other fish are relatively fast and they chase you for a pretty long time. Um, what else is there? Uh, lionfish could chase, but it's not really all that much of an issue. You know, just get behind a wall, and they're not really that much of an issue. Uh, crabs can kind of chase little, not not crabs, but the uh, pteropods could chase, but uh, getting up high enough and they can't just jump. You know, they have a they have a limited jump time. But other than that, I'd say steer clear of Squibbo. Unless you're really competent or with a group. Um, steer clear of Threshers, unless you're really confident in a group. Especially because they almost entirely spawn in pairs. And dragging two of them on you is a very bad idea. Uh, if you ever find yourself in a very bad situation and you're in a deep bound slot, run. Run, run, run. Run, Castle Light. Get the aggro on those other uh, divers. Because that'll really help you. They, it may not, you know, get you health or anything. Maybe it'll give you time to respite, and you can hop servers and join another one. Solo is especially dangerous because not only you are targeted by uh, mobs, you're also targeted by players. So uh, be careful of that. I just the number one rule is always, always be aware of your surroundings. Always be aware of your surroundings. And second rule is always be aware of what you're able to take, and uh, just uh, follow the tier list. Follow the tier list that you make, or my tier list that I make, and you will be set. So those are my little tips for escaping the depths, for grinding in the depths, for surviving the depths. It, it's not a lot, and I've, I've talked quite a bit, but um, I hope this could help you, and I hope you, if it's not, you know, going to help you personally, it could help you, maybe your friend of yours, or just be like, okay, these are things I should look out for. So, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions or anything in the comments, be sure to tell me. I'm happy to reply. Otherwise, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.